San Antonio has been called one of the most economically segregated cities in the entire country. So we wanted to know what do city leaders plan to do about it? A study revealed this week that four local zip codes have the most severe concentration of poverty. Sarah Acosta spoke with city leaders about what they believe can be done to ease the financial burden on people living in these areas. This is what I collected today. Probably like $20 in there. 56 year old Margarita lives in low income housing on the west side. She lost her job after she got sick and couldn't go back to work. She didn't want to show her face on camera. She is now selling her belongings to try to pay rent and support her 18 year old son, who she hopes can get out of the cycle of poverty. I'm planning on him to go to college or get a better life than me. Margarita lives in one of the zip codes where a severe poverty gap exists. Earlier this week, a two-year study was released that shows four zip codes, 78202 and 78208 on the east side, 78207 on the west side, and 78211 on the southwest side is where San Antonio's worst poverty is concentrated. The study showed that residents in these areas have below average outcomes in employment, health insurance coverage, income, and education. The study says the financial challenges our residents experience in these areas don't allow them to build assets, especially for future generations. For example, not having the ability to build savings, go to college, own a home, or reliable transportation. District 7 Councilwoman Anna Sandoval says city leaders have read the study and understand its importance. There's far too many parts of the city that have been historically left behind. She says the city has already put in place two financial coaches Coaching centers within the past 10 years. She says more could help. It's possible to consider opening um, more of those. You know, we're in the middle of budget season right now, so in a few days we'll see the, the draft budget and see what is in there to, to help families in San Antonio. District 2 Councilwoman Jada Andrew Sullivan, who represents the East Side, sent us this statement. There is real work to do, and we have a very small window to start implementing policies that are going to lead to systemic change. It's too late. Westside resident Richard Martinez says city resources were needed a long time ago to prevent the poverty cycle from continuing. Not at when they're already in, in shambles and they can't get out. Now, Sarah, you actually talked with the District 4 City Council person too, Adriana Rocha Garcia. She represents one of these dis uh, one of these zip codes rather that have been mostly affected. So, what did she have to say? She said that what the study found is completely unacceptable. She says the resources and nonprofits and programs are already in place. She said the city needs to figure out a better way to communicate that information to the residents in poverty that those resources are available to them. Myra.